Uh, again, uh, I am the host, uh, Shen Zhan. I'm here with my colleagues, uh, Yan Jie. Hello, everyone. Glad to see you again. Mm -hmm. And Li Yue. Hi, hello. And Andy. Hi, you are. Andy. Mm -hmm. Now we're we we're, we're going to start, so we have to mute everyone at the beginning, and uh, for about half through the session, uh, we will break everybody into three uh, breakout rooms, so we can have a, a smaller group, and everybody can be unmuted, and we can practice. Uh, so it's a weekly series, or um, almost a weekly as well, we just took a long weekend uh, Memorial Day break. And I miss you guys, uh, truly. Uh, this uh, pre preparing for this half hour session gave me a joy. I hope you would enjoy uh, today's session, uh, perhaps a brief escape uh, from the reality for 30 minutes. Uh, I want to give a special thanks to all of you who, who filled the survey. Uh, it really helps us to improve our program. We hear you and we will see how to make adjustments. Um, and, and especially for our new friends to today's session, the series are envisioned as a read aloud to provide some relevant cultural substance. Uh, there is a, oh, thank you. Um, yeah, the series are envisioned as a reader out to provide some cultural substance for practicing the language and open to students of all levels within 30 minutes online. So for those who are beginners and just to join, you probably will be surprised that we are not focusing on topics like greetings, hobbies, travel, shopping, food. Um, but uh, we, we, we are envisioning this for good reason because, well, language and culture uh, cannot be separated. Maybe our goals are a little bit uh, too ambitious, um, but, well, we will see and with your help. And of course, well, we will make uh, adjustments and improvement um, according to your suggestions. Uh, hopefully we can achieve at least some of our goals together. Uh, as a reminder, the session will be recorded and uploaded to China Institute's YouTube channel for future reference. Um, so you can choose whether you want to be on camera or not. Uh, so now let's get started. Just give me one second to share the screen again. Wait. Okay. All right. So over the past six sessions, we covered some major Chinese poems from classical period to contemporary. Today, it's time to introduce Shi Jing. Here. Yeah, you can repeat after me. Shi Jing. 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 Shi Jing. If you like learning Chinese language, literature, or particularly Chinese poetry, Shi Jin is really the beginning, the fountainhead of Chinese literature. It's a collection of 305 poems, the finest form at the time, or even today in Chinese language, compiled by the famous Confucius, who lived from 551 to 479 BC, so that gives a little historical timeline there. So many poems in Book of Songs are over 3,000 years because Confucius himself didn't write them. He just collected and perhaps edited some of them. All the Chinese poets or any educated men and women in Chinese culture must at some point have read some of the poems in the Book of Songs. So for maybe some of you here today, this could be the moment uh, to, to learn uh, at least one poem from this collection. So today we are going to read the poem, in fact, the very first one selected by Confucius in Shi Jing. And please read after me. 
关居。关居。Some of you may notice this word "guan." It's the exact same word as、uh, "close." A verb like "in 关门 close the door," or "guan 窗户 close the window." Though here it really is the sound; it's to mimic the sound that the osprey, especially a male osprey, makes. So the question here is, what's about the osprey? The poem will tell us. This is the first session in the poem. It's translated by James Lag, a Scottish sinologist, missionary, and scholar, best known as an early and prolific translator of classical Chinese texts into English. He was also the first professor of Chinese at Oxford University, from 1876 to 1897. And I would propose a question: Is this a poem about aspirates? Now let's get into the text. Again, it's I will read twice, character by character, first time, and then the phrases second time. Guan, guan, ju jiu, zai, he. 知州，关关雎鸠，在河之洲。So now the camera is set. A lone male osprey standing at the river bank, making such sound, looking for a mate. A scene we are familiar with. This nature today was birds and maybe other creatures. So the, now the scene in the nature is set up, and for what? Second line. Yao tiao, shu nü, jun zi. 好球，窈窕淑女，君子好球。So clearly, this poem is not about the poor osprey, but a love story between a man and a woman. Well, I want to point the attention to this phrase, "yao tiao shu nü." Since this poem, "yao tiao shu nü" has become a four-character idiomatic phrase that is still used today, three thousand years after, referring to women who are considered by social norms graceful with virtue, especially the mainstream social norm. So it could vary from time to time. And also across the culture in terms of translation. One example I could think of in the Western culture could be、um, Audrey Hepburn. Herb Hepburn, sorry, in My Fair Lady. In fact, the title of the movie in Chinese is guess what? Yao Tiao Shu Nü. So now moving on to the second part. This is the English translation, and another question: Why does the poem talk about duckweed? Keep that question in mind, and let's read the poem in Chinese first. Cheng Chi, Xing Cai. 左右
流之，参 ，excuse me， 参差荇菜，左右流之。Just like the first part, here is a scene in the nature described, and then comes the human. Yao Tiao Shu Nu Wu Mei. 求之，窈窕淑女，妩媚求之。So I would invite you to think about what are the similarities between the nature scene, the water plant, the duckweed, and the human scene. Now we know that the man is in fact in the state of longing and perhaps a little bit of anxiety. But can he get her? This is the third part. Chiu. 知不得，寤寐思服，求之不得，寤寐思服。求之不得 pursue her, but can't get her. This also becomes a phrase we continue to use today, referring to something that's very desirable. And we can have a little bit more practice、um, at the end. Yo, zai, yo. 哉，展，转，反，侧，悠哉，悠哉，辗转反侧。So here are three third tones together. Just making sure you change. 辗转反侧 ，so these first two becomes the second tone. 辗转反侧 ，and then this poor man now in quite a bit of trouble. So in this one line, we are looking, in fact, two idiomatic phrases still used today. 悠哉悠哉 ，that. We can talk about a little bit more later, and 辗转反侧 That's also one reason we chose this particular poem, not only because of its literature significance, but linguistically there are quite some phrases、uh, and also cultural references that still quite commonly used today in colloquial Chinese. And a few more words about 辗转 because these two words, the way that it's written in traditional or antique Chinese forms, are quite interesting pictographically. You can see that the two characters、uh, here both have a similar part here, and this one. That's related to the ancient carriages. The word 辗转 you can see the modern form 
today it still has the ch part, the carriage, as the radical. So the word zhan zhuan literally means run over by a carriage over and over again. Imagine the heart is running into an accident like this. Symbolically, of course, but it still could be quite a bloody scene. So here is the poem so far. Uh, let's read it together. Uh, I, I can hear some background uh, talking. So if you could please just mute yourself. Uh, thank you very much. All right, let's read aloud together. Guan Ju Guan Ju Guan Guan Ju Jiu Zai He Ju Jiu Yao Tiao Shu Nu Jun Zi Hao Chiu Chen Ci Xing Cai Zuo Yu Liu Zhi Yao Tiao Shu Nu Wu Mei Chiu Zhi Chiu Zhi Bu De Wu Mei Si Fu Yu Zai Yu Zai Zhan Zhuan Fan Ce So up to this point, we know the man is now in an intense emotion in this affair of love, pursuing of the elegant lady. Can he eventually get her heart? Here is the part we will reveal the rest of the love story next Monday. Uh, because of the time, um, we stop about this poem today and we will complete the story next Monday. Um, but before we go into the breakout session, I do want to point out the few phrases that we are still using quite commonly today. Yao tiao shu nu, yao tiao shu nu. And then, qiu zhi bu de. So there are some examples, and maybe Andy and Li Yue, could you uh, converse the, the, the conversation, please? 想出去走走吗? 走吧。走吧。走吧。走吧。走吧。走吧。走吧。走吧。Yeah, Yeah, so this is something that's quite um, desirable, especially after staying at home for a long time. Uh, and a more complex way, uh, that's an example in the sentence uh, below. Uh, maybe Yan Jie, would you like to read it? Okay. Yeah, so the, some of the dilemma that we are facing, and we don't have to go to the office, Ban Gong Shi, um, now, maybe at the beginning, it's a little bit desirable because we can avoid the commute. But after a long time, it's very hard to stay in at home as well. So the next one, yu zai, yu zai. Um, so these two examples are actually uh, one, xiao yu zai shui li, yu zai, yu zai de. The fish is like swimming leisurely. It looks like something without any effort that it's doing. It's quite a literal describing, uh, description, um, uh, describing the situation there. But the next one is more um, about the behavior. Yeah, 
Uh, maybe can anyone from the audience tell the meaning of the second sentence? Can anyone want to try? You can raise your hand. And um, well, can Yan Jie see who's? Uh, so far, we haven't got any money. Uh huh. Yeah. All right. Maybe I will move on. Uh, so, 焦虑 it's anxious. I am anxious these days. But my friend, 我的朋友却在家悠哉悠哉的练习书法 It's like we're practicing calligraphy at home, in a way that's seemingly、uh, relaxing. So, 悠哉悠哉 In the modern way of using it, is describing something leisurely or something you are doing, at least seemingly without any effort. And then the last one, 辗转反侧 So, 我担心好友生病好友 good friend. I'm afraid. I'm worried. About my good friend while getting sick, 生病，一夜辗转反侧 So turning around the entire night, 无法入睡 cannot go to sleep. So these are some examples that well, these phrases are still being used today. Well, this is a good website that where we got the translation of the Book of Songs and many other Chinese classics. So, if you are interested,、uh, you can also use it as a reference. All right, that's it for today's read aloud together.、Um, now, I would invite Yan Jie to. Get everybody into the breakout session, and we can practice. And if you have any questions, well, we can、uh, have a discussion there too.